guys. It is Sunday. It's late ish. Let's see. 513. It is late. We went grocery shopping and stuff this morning. Ran all the errands we usually do on Saturday, but yeah, we're still recovering from our vacation. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to put you down right here. Maybe, maybe okay, hold on. So while I was on vacation, I did bring some needlework with me, but I also brought um, this with me. I, I brought something else too, but we'll discuss it later. So if you all want, I'm going to film how I made this, but I got the um, idea for it from an inst an Instagram person that I follow, an art person that I follow, and I'll link her Instagram down below. I don't know exactly how she did hers, um, but I saw her coloring on one that she made. I think the only thing I know about it is that she made it with India ink. It's, otherwise, I have no idea. I didn't use India ink. I used either a... Um, Faber-Castell uh, pit pen or a um, Ohuhu marker um, and both of them work great. I colored them in with highlighter pens and um, those two pens don't smear with the highlighter pens so they worked really well. I did this one while I was on vacation. I got, liked it so much I made another one when I got back. I'm a little bit bigger. And this one's with the Ohuhu markers. I did do a test patch on a piece of paper um, with the pens I like to color it with to make sure that that would work, and it did. Um, and But if you want a tutorial on how I made these, let me know. Um, and then today I made this little bag because I really decided I liked, yes, having the needlework with me was great and all, and I did work on some things. I really like to just have a small thing. I don't like trudging a bunch of stuff through the airport. And I seem to do that more often than not, but my goal is not. So I made this little, pencil, basically a pencil pouch with a zipper. And all the journals can go in here. The difference with this one is it's got two pockets on the outside with a flap with all my pens in it that I would take to color with. And then it's got the flap to keep it closed. Plus, if I am on the plane, there's a little bit of stiffener in the flap to sort of have it up just a little bit and keep the flap out of my way. And the pencil pouch is big enough if I want to bring one water brush and one of my small mini travel watercolor palettes, I could still do that and fit them in here. And I have three, this is, these are, there's three journals here. This is one's got a watercolor paper. This is a writing journal. And then this is one of the coloring journals. And there's still room. I have these little tiny watercolor palettes. I could still fit that in a water brush in there. That fits in a small bag and I can just take it with me. So if you want to know how I made this and I just made it today, this is the test sample. Um, let me know because I'll make a video. And um, I also took my normal daily drawing journal with me, but I did the collages ahead of time and put the words on it, put the dates on it. All I had to do while I was on vacation is do the drawings and do some writing. I left that. And going forward, we may, when we prep September, we may really prep September. We may do the cover and do collage on every single page. And then, yeah. So anyway because that was easy. And then really all I needed is a pen in that journal. And I could, that, that journal won't fit in here, but I could just bring this brag, bring that journal, everything else is in here. Yeah, I like that. Anyway. It's hot up here. I've got all the windows open because it's hot up here. I think we brought the heat and humidity home with us from Virginia. <laughs> all right. I think that's it for the moment. I did get a fruit bouquet from my sister for my birthday which was great thank you elizabeth it was delicious came with this really cute little plastic bucket which i'll use for something but it has a little crack in it so before i go downstairs i think i'm gonna glue the crack and then we'll just worry about the mess that's on my table manana maybe maybe all right i'll be back right, you guys well, it's still a little bit of morning left. I guess I better get my day started. I've been putting off turning on the computer and doing any video editing, but it's past time. So yeah, anyway, we're also going to get this cleaned up, get ready for a project and 
all the things. First, turn on some music. I'll be back. Okay, still avoiding video editing. <laughs> so I have um, one of my, what I call hip pockets. Uh, I don't really carry a handbag too much anymore. It's not that I, I don't. Um, but not very often. Um, I started going without one during COVID when it was just easier to not have a handbag to carry along with the mask and everything else. Um, and when I have too much for my pockets or I'm wearing an outfit without pockets, I have sort of a hippie version of a fanny pack. And I have this green one and they basically have two hooks on them and then they hang off of a belt. And this one actually came with a green belt. I bought this one um, from Earthbound Trading Company years ago. And um, it is leather with a cotton lining, but it's not the best quality leather. And the snap on it was really um, kind of a pain. And eventually over this last trip to Virginia, the snap was so hard to get undone that it ripped a piece of um, the leather. So I used some pliers to pull the snap off, both ends, both the end on the top and the end on the bottom, and I sewed Velcro on here. And then of course that left me with some white stitching and a little hole on the flap, but I had these little hand-stitched little tiles that I made a while, quite a while ago, and I just machine, I made these by hand, but I hand, I machine stitched it to the flap of the bag, and there you go. So now that's all fixed, which it was on the project list to do, and you know, now it's done. <laughs> so still avoiding video editing, but I think my computer needs a software update before I actually do any video editing. So we are going to check into that. And if it needs it, let it update, and then I'll work on the next project, which is going to be creating some more of these coloring books and working on a bag, a mini art bag to take with me on trips when I go on vacation. I always take bag. I have a lot of bags. Um, I love my bags, but none of them are exactly perfect. None of them, you know, are exactly what I want. And... You know, if I go long enough between trips and I'm like, oh, I can just take this big bag full of stuff. It'll be fine. And then I go on the trip and I'm like, okay, now I'm remembering why I don't like lugging a big suitcase full of art stuff through the airport. That shit's heavy. And so I did a mock-up yesterday of this bag, and which is basically a pencil pouch with pen holders on the outside. Now, this one's not perfect, um, but the basic idea behind it works great. The, the pocket is for all the journals. The outside is for the pens. I don't take much with me, or at least that's the plan. So, yeah, those are the two main projects or first projects we're going to be working on at the table. Once I get the video editing done. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. I don't think I've turned the camera on all day today. I've been too busy crocheting. Anyway, Jenna Phipps, this is your fault. Not that you watch my channel, but you made your top out of flowers and you got a bunch of flowers from your subscribers. Now I'm crocheting flowers. Yeah, really? Anyway, I've been doing that all morning. Uh, I got a call from the daughter. I have a couple errands to run for them tomorrow because they're out of town. And... The house is being cleaned as we speak. She's downstairs. Um, and I have to stop crocheting and dig out the, uh, dig out the support gloves because old lady hands. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I've just been crocheting like a maniac today. That's all I've been doing. I've been doing nothing else. So I can't say I'm too mad about it, you know, anyway. As you can see, my little setup there in the corner. Yeah. All right. <sighs> That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is la 10 o'clock. I almost said 11 o'clock. It's not 11 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Been up for a bit. Had a counseling session this morning. It went pretty well. I have to stop talking disparagingly about myself, which is a really bad habit. Anyway, so, 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 so. 
We are headed out to go run some errands. up some stuff for the daughter. She's out of town. Um, I have a list of things. I wrote it down, including made bread. I've been home since Friday, still haven't made a loaf of homemade bread, which is weird because I make a loaf every week. <coughs> anyway, when I get back, before I make my lunch, we'll make some bread. Okay, go, go ahead. We're, we're in a vlog first. So evidently, he's got something to tell me, but anyway... We're headed out for an evening walk. It's about 80 degrees out. Figure we should get some steps in while we can because next week it's going to be hot very balls. hot as balls. As Squirrel Tribe would say. If you don't know who that is, I'll link her channels down below. Um, <laughs> I'll probably get demonetized, demonetized for, that. for that, but oh well. Oh well. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Maui and Lahaina. You, and Lahaina. If you haven't seen the news, Basically, most of the island of Maui is on fire and Lahaina is gone. This town is gone, literally. 150-year-old banyan tree that I just love is gone. Right by the harbor there. Right by the harbor and the old courthouse building, gone. The all whole, of it's gone. All of the riverfront area is gone. They're all gone. So anyway, on that depressing note, <laughs> I've been crocheting flowers again all afternoon because, you know, and I had a do. I had a counseling day. After that, I went and ran some errands for our, us and the kids. Am I sure I locked the kids' front door when I left? Eighty percent, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, I did. I don't know. It's one of those kind of days, you guys. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk, get some steps in. I'll be back. I don't think I've gotten on camera yet today, which you know, and it's like two o'clock. Anyway, I filmed a couple of videos this morning, which is why I haven't gotten on camera yet. And um, one is for RT Tri the next RT Trio. Another one is for um, a travel art bag journaling thing. Like, stay tuned. Anyway, I am getting my next sewing project done. And I actually have some typing and document creation to do on that. I don't know if I want to do it right now. But yeah, I have to do that. I may try to do it on my tablet instead because I think I'd rather. Anyway, that's it for the minute. Uh, Bob is out at an appointment and running a couple of errands. He took a break from his desk during the week, which he never does. But, you know, he had some stuff that needed doing, so he's out doing it. Anyway. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take my little keyboard upstairs, and I think I am going to type that document I need to work on on my tablet. I really, I really just, my desktop is old and slow, and I really need a new one. But they're expensive. Anyway. All right, tablet's old too, but you know, everything's old. I'm old, Tab electronics are old, it's all old. Oh, and we're gonna be creating a playroom here in the house somewhere for the grandson. And I'm looking for opinions. So we have this game room in the front, which we don't use much. There's obviously uh, things here that would need to be moved out, like China cabinet. Um, we also have some things out here in the family room we could move around. What do you think? I'm, I'm kind of opting for family room. Anyway, what's your opinion? All right, let's go get this document created. I'll be back. Guys, I would say good morning, but it's lunchtime. It's Friday, August 10th, I think. I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea. August 11th. Um, I think I've mentioned it on the channel before. Almost 30 years ago when my I was pregnant with my daughter. Actually, 30 years ago. Um, I was in a head-on collision with somebody who ran a red light. And I've had problems with my neck ever since. 
on and off. And uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I start my day with my neck killing me and having a headache. Today is one of those days. So while I haven't gotten a whole lot done, I did get a start on my next sewing project, which is a sundress project, boho style, um, T. Meyer style, out of an old bed sheet. Um, the basic pattern is the Indie Pattern Company Sun Summer Dress. I think this is one I got off of Etsy. I'll find it and link it below. Um, I had this really pretty blue polka dotted bed sheet and I have started the dress here. Yes, she sort of looks like a nightgown, but I don't care. Um, we've got some ruffling uh, lace on the bottom and a ruffle. The lace is from a couple of pillowcases that I thrifted, as is the bed sheet. I'm gonna add a couple of faux pleated details on top of the lace. We're gonna add some pockets, because why not? And some of it, the edges are going to be hidden. Some are going to left, be left to fray. And yeah, I've already taken it in a little bit around the top, done some pleating on the front and the back, done different patterns of pleating so I know which is the back. Yeah, anyway, I need to stop now and eat some food and maybe take a pain pill. So anyway, I'll be back. I know it's time to stop because my earbuds run out of juice. My ice for my coconut water is completely melted. And it's very hot up here. I have other chores to do. As I said earlier, I've been putting off, but I did complete a project that has been on my list for sewing for quite a while now, um, since I first started getting back into sewing, to be fair. And it is this dress, sundress, made out of a bed sheet, um, boho style. And I haven't washed it yet, so some of the edges are going to fray, but I do love the way it turned out. Love, love, love. And it'll go really well with some other things that I've already made. Yeah. So anyway. I need to stop now. Kids started texting me. My phone started going off. It's another way I knew it was time to stop. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, of course it's me. I'm trying to vlog for the first time today and it's like eight o'clock in the evening. And here's another thing about me. I did get the music to turn off, but I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know how to operate like that. When Bob is not here, I don't even turn it bother. I just watch stuff on my tablet. <laughs> anyway, I haven't vlogged before today because just because um, I sat down for a little bit with the serger and did another clean and oil on it. And it's a little bit better. I want to do one more project and then I might just have to take it in for service. Um, of course, old me would rather just check it out a window and buy a new one. But the new one I'd really love, like my dream serger is a Bernina that's like $1,400. And Unless Bernina wants to sponsor my channel and some of my sewing videos and send me a machine, that ain't happening. So Bernina, if you want to send me a machine, go for it. Um, but anyway, uh, so we had dinner with the family tonight, uh, another birthday celebration for me, for people who couldn't um, or uh, be here before now or weren't with us um, on my birthday because we were in Virginia. Uh, my dad came down, so that was really great. Um, adopted daughter Jenny brought me flowers. She got me some lavender lemonade mix, which is great. A uh, friend of hers is roasting his own coffee beans, and she knows I love coffee, and she brought me some beans. Yay, can't wait to try them. Um, and some lavender lemonade mix, which I'd never heard before, but I can't wait to try that either. So anyway, can you tell I love lavender? Anyway. And Jenny is one of our kids who loves arts and crafts. She wants me to teach her sewing and bookbinding. You guys. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just cleaning up from the evening and planning tomorrow with the same kids. Um, I think we're going to go see Opp uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer? I think that's the one we're going to go see. Anyway, we're going to go to the movies with them and then hang out, run a couple errands, and yeah. It ought to be a fun day, but that's for next week's vlog. This week's been interesting. I didn't 
get all the projects I thought I would get done, but I did get more than I expected to get done. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Anyway, that's it for today. That's it for this week. Um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Say hi, Mr. Bob. Hi, Mr. Bob. <laughs> um, if you would like, share, and subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. Above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to sit and drink my evening iced coffee. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.